all wells produce clean water. Good for the client. Remember, we, we don't take reservoir risk. That's the client's issue, but we add value to the client. Let's go back and talk about the same automation. So in our case, we enhance HSC. We protect your cells. Even though I'm giving you a lot of comfort, what I will tell you, hopefully, and I'm sure, knowing Carl, he's gone through this with you. Drilling, getting around a rig that has the kind of horsepower and tonnage these things do. It's serious stuff. You've got to be incredibly careful. Hard hats, boots, maintaining a certain distance from rotary equipment, etc. It's just something you must do to protect yourself and your colleagues. It's not because that's the law, that's the rule, that's what Carl and his team said you should do. It's something you should acknowledge in your own mind you're doing for yourself. Very, very important to protect yourself. Having said that, the most places where people get hurt, we have no one standing because a robot is doing that work. You're sitting inside a dog house in a very protective environment. You've got your joystick, you've got your panels, and you're running at night. Once we set up the operation control room, which unfortunately when we get started up, we won't have on day one, but we will have an OCC up and running. The great news about the OCC is that in addition to the rig being run with a joystick, there's a video and digital feed back to a control room where further skilled manpower is watching that execution at all times. If you take a look at that, we're taking yourselves, coming out of school, putting it through a month of training, we're putting on a $5 million asset. That's what the rig is, $5 million asset. On top of that, we're going to give you a joystick. You're going to run it. It's a very rare occasion you get you get that advantage that you can actually come out of school, go through months of training, maybe another month odd running with someone else, and you've got this this power in your hand that you, you're controlling a five million dollar asset, and you're doing with it what you think is right to do. And that's our confidence in the automation, in the technology in what we think we can do. We've done that very successfully in China. Our headcount out of graduates out of school in China reached as much as 600. Execution, smack on, with no issues at all. So confidence is, is there without a question. In terms of talking about, continue to talk about the automation. In this particular rig design, we left one person on the floor. I did that for a reason. We can even get rid of the one person on the floor. Now that person, as I'm sure you've seen on the radio, you'll see it when you shortly get there, has a little panel to actually, it's a crane that picks up the pipe and darts it in the muscle. You can automate that too. You get an extra joystick that deals with that. So the next version of the race, we get rid of that position too. But that's basically what you're walking yourself into. You should, you should take pride in that, unlike, again, another great company, as you compare yourselves to being part of the Greco family now. Greco drilling is not just the rig, it's the G&G, the engineering geology up front, it's the actual rig, and most importantly, it's the direction drilling on top of that. Normal rig companies don't have direction drilling. They pick up the phone, they call Schlumberger, Halliburton, Weatherford, uh, some local contractors to come with their directional tools and run the direction through them when the rig is ready. GDL, of course, does all of that in-house. Some of you, depending on how you execute the field, will have an opportunity to move the direction of Again, when we talk about direction of it's not, it's all automated.